So in three weeks, uh, we've got three pronghorn tags here in Idaho. The challenge in the last few seasons has been a lot more people have been down in the vicinity of where we hunt. The antelope are starting to spread out big time. Uh, water sources are kind of iffy every year. You're not sure if there's water in certain spots. Since it is an archery hunt, water is a key factor to the hunt. And so we've had to do a lot of scouting, whether it's in an airplane, driving out there, or mapping at home. A few days ago, we decided to rent a plane, fly down to the unit, and just check it out, see how much water there was, and try to find some new areas. Always trying to find that more remote spot, uh, maybe where somebody's not gonna hike a mile and a half to two miles in the hot, flat desert, might be a perfect spot for us. Before we left, all we had to do was download the offline maps for the area. Fly over the water hole, and if you find a really good one that looks like, okay, definitely wanna pay more attention to this one, flew over the top of it, and all you have to do is mark the waypoint. Then I would also take a photo of the water hole to have something to revert back to and see what it looks like, not just on the mapping, but what I actually see from the sky. Now the, probably the most important part of this scouting for us on this particular hunt is how do we get down there from that point? Well, we just start mapping roads out, start looking, looking, and looking, okay? You just keep going and going and going and, and hopefully that you can find a road that leads away from private and you're able to hunt that spot. It's a pretty simple concept. Go to the water hole, find it, hopefully it works and uh, hopefully be successful. That's how we're, we've been using Onyx.